guys welcome to another video today i'm going to be talking about which quarterback should the falcons sign now for me there are four options russell wilson justin fields kirk cousins draft quarterback draft quarterback there's four options and personally i think we should go for Russell Wilson. And and just build the roster the best we can and then and then maybe draft a quarterback down the road. But the thing is with Russell Wilson is gonna be cheap. They're gonna be paying the the veteran minimum, which is below two million, just for the year, which is insanely cheap for Russell Wilson. Yes, he has not at the best time in in the Denver. I mean, it, it's sort of a well. It, it, the locker room didn't jive with him either. Um, he's sort of an eccentric character. Um, so so yeah. I mean, it, I think he's not a terrible quarterback, but he's not a great quarterback. Um, but you know, he's won a Super Bowl. He's good when, you know, big moments are, not in Denver, of course. But I think for this, I don't think we're sort of win now. But I think if we've got, a, like, Russell Wilson's better than Desmond Ritter, right? And we're two games away from going to the playoffs. One win away, and if Tampa lost. Um, so... If we had Russ Wilson play for us last year, I think we would have made the playoffs. Definitely would have made the playoffs. Um, with any of these quarterbacks, then maybe a new quarterback being drafted, I think we made a, would have made the playoffs. Um, so, yeah, personally, I think Russ Wilson, because it's a cheap option. Uh, see what he can do. Then, if not, trade for somebody by the trade deadline. Tra Trade for someone during the trade deadline. Or again, try and free agency or trade after the season's over. With Justin Fields, it's sort of... It's sort of unproven. Yes, he's mobile. Yes, he can do the big plays here and there. But I think he's, he's not good at seeing the field well. I mean, there's been numerous occasions where there's been loads of receivers open... In his field of vision and doesn't see him, or he sees them and throws an interception. So in that respect, he's a bit like Desmond Ritter, where he's a bit inaccurate. He's mobile, but he can utilize his mobility a bit better than Desmond Ritter. Um, he's a better talent overall than Desmond Ritter for sure. Um, but yeah, he's sort of a bit unproven. Um, I think he'd be better in Arthur Smith's offense than the offence now, because I think the offence, what is going to be next season, is going to be more suited for Russell Wilson and Kirk Cousins. But, yeah, I mean, he's from a, he's from the Georgia area, you know, so it does make sense from that aspect of things. But, I, uh, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I'm not sure about Justin Fields. And I think the Bears are shocked that there's not a lot of Teams willing to trade for him because I think it's all statistic that within three seasons with Chicago he's thrown forty touchdowns and thirty interceptions. Not good, not good. Side of Kirk Cousins, which I do think is going to happen, it makes a lot of sense. A lot of sense. Um, the offensive scheme is something that he's been used to for his entire career. So there won't be a learning curve. He can go get in, go straight in, and you know do what he does. Um, you know he he has just come off by touring his Achilles, and he's thirty six, I think, this year. So age is not on his side, but Tom Brady proves that proved that that is not a an issue. But he's, Kirk Cousins is not Tom Brady. Um, but yeah, I. I've, 
I don't know with Kirk Cousins. I think it is going to happen because his wife is from Georgia. He's, well, yeah, and they say happy life, happy wife. No, happy wife, happy life. So, so yeah, I think it makes most sense in Atlanta. And for me personally, as a Falcons fan, I'm adjusting to the reality of him being Atlanta Falcon. Because I think he would raise the bar on all the offensive players. Because if you look at uh, Carl Pitts' first year, right, with Matt Ryan, not a mobile quarterback, uses his arm, right, he was over a hundred, he was over a thousand yards. With Mariota and Desmond Ritter, fucking nowhere near that. Because they were not as talented with their arm and more mobile. So they were more dual threat, so less plays throwing the ball. So I think London would definitely have a breakout season. So Pitt, so is Pitts, so is Bijan. So I think in that aspect, it will raise the bar and the quality of play from the players. And I think there'd be a new attitude, good attitude. The locker room would be, you know, into it. Um, but yeah, that, that's my take. But personally, now thinking about it, I'm, I don't want Justin Fields. I don't want Justin Fields. I mean, I wouldn't be disappointed, but I wouldn't be over the moon. Because I think the Bears want too much for him. Too much for him. And I don't think we should give up a first, a third, a second, maybe two fifths, and a seventh rounder, maybe. Because we need to dra draft Dallas Turner in the draft. Or if we don't draft him, I hope we get Daniel Hunter or Christian Wilkins in free agency. One of those two. If we don't get a quarterback in free agency. So, so yeah, and then the fourth option is drafting a quarterback. We're drafting it at eight. So Jaden Daniels will be gone. Uh, Caleb Williams will be gone. David May would be gone by that time. So the ones that were remaining are JJ McCarthy and Michael Penix and Bo Nix. The two that I like are Michael Penix and Bo Nix. Personally, from what I've seen from their college days and the combine, so both of them. Well, they're not. Then the main aspect of the game isn't mobility, but it, it, you know they're good passers. So they're my two two best quarterbacks at that sport. I'd go for. Um, yeah, unless they trade up, which again I think is a mistake. Because we'd have to give up a lot. And maybe some players that we don't want to get rid of. So we'll be taking one step forward and three steps back. In my eyes if we do that. So, so yeah. We need to draft a receiver as well in the draft. But but yeah. So that's my thoughts. I'm more Russell Wilson, Kirk Cousins than Justin Fields. Let me, let me know what you guys think. And as always please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.